Thank you, P.S. Let me first recognize the Honorable Raven Blackmore, the Minister for Justice, Immigration, and National Security. His Excellency Lu Kun, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Dominica. His Excellency Hubert Charles, Ambassador and Advisor to the Minister of Foreign Affairs and CARICOM Affairs. The Permanent Secretary, Ms. Mrs. Silvani Burton. Mr. Daniel Carbon, the Chief of Police. Mr. Fali Repair, Chief Fire Officer. Officials of the Embassy of China. Officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Other invited guests, representatives of the prison service, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I think that um, Minister Blackmore has given a very comprehensive um, overview of how the, this most generous gift from the People's Republic of China will be utilized by the Commonwealth of Dominica. And we are ex especially grateful to the People's Republic of China and to the Ambassador for his assistance to the Commonwealth of Dominica. So on behalf of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and CARICOM Affairs, I join my colleague Minister, Honorable Raven Blackmore, in expressing my deepest appreciation and that of the government and people of Dominica to the government of the People's Republic of China and more particularly its Ministry of National Defense for this truly generous gift of logistical equipment and supplies for the Ministry of Justice, Immigration and National Security, and in particular for the Commonwealth of Dominica Police Force, the Fire Service and the Prison Service. But this is not the first time that we have received assistance from the People's Republic of China, which directly benefits our security services. I can point to evidence of this that we are all very much aware of. We all see the motorcycles utilized by the traffic department as they carry out their duties in various parts of the island. This is a tangible contribution in maintaining safety and security to the country. And of course, we heard Ambassador Lu indicate this afternoon that this gift of logistical equipment to the security services is but a beginning. There will be a further gift of logistical equipment to us, and that will be double what we have received today once we have identified specifically what it is that we require. I've, on many occasions since we first established diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China 14 years ago, China has proven itself to be a consistent partner and friend to Dominica. It is well known that the benefits of this partnership involve important strategic areas such as infrastructure development, and of course we are in the stadium, the Winter Park Stadium now, that was built by uh, our friends from the People's Republic of China. And of course we see many other uh, representations of, our, of the good work that China has done in the field of infrastructure development all around the country. They have also assisted greatly in human resource development, in investment in our agriculture, in health, and now this logistical equipment for our security services. The logistical equipment that's provided with this consignment includes, as you have heard, six ambulances, a fire truck, and a number of all-terrain vehicles, along with other items that are crucial to building our capacity for disaster management and resilience building, which, as is well known, have now been placed at the top of our development agenda. In fact, I have no doubt that as we accelerate implementation of the program for transforming Dominica into the world's first climate resilient nation, we will be able to rely on the support of the People's Republic of China as we go forward. I think indeed China has shown itself to be a country which is visionary and which supports in a tangible way the development of less developed countries. After the passage of Hurricane Maria, the People's Republic of China, through the quick efforts of Ambassador Liu, immediately made available to the Commonwealth of Dominica $800,000 to support our relief effort. This is very much appreciated. And subsequent to that, another $3 million US dollars was approved for housing repairs. And this is being undertaken in collaboration with the United Nations Development Program. 
in addition to that, uh, an additional 15 million US dollars was approved for the support in the field of public infrastructure. And those funds have been identified to assist with the rebuilding of some schools in Dominica. And so the process is being undertaken to uh, finalize all of the arrangements for those schools to be rebuilt. There, this, all of these efforts were undertaken by, uh, with the assistance of Ambassador Lu, notwithstanding the fact that he, the embassy and residence were severely destroyed by Hurricane Maria, and it res resulted on the temporary relocation of the um, embassy and staff to Barbados. So we're very pleased to have Ambassador Lu back with us in Dominica, and we're also very pleased to know that the advanced teams have come back to Dominica in respect of um, moving forward with the advancement of the projects for the new National Hospital, the West Coast Road, and the York Valley Bridge. We anticipate that not too long from now that we will see these projects uh, commence once again, and we look forward to their successful completion. Uh, we also would like to, to, to thank um, Ambassador. We see a tangible expression of the friendship of the People's Republic of China to Dominica. And I think this is very impressive. 19 vehicles uh, stand on this grounds today. And we thank you very much, Ambassador. As the Honorable Minister uh, Blackmore has indicated, those vehicles will be used in the various services for the prison service, the, um, the police, and um, the fire department. And I am sure that they will be used and appreciated by by those who are uh, who will be um, wh who will be uh, utilizing them in the in the conduct of their business. So I thank you, um, Ambassador. I want to end these remarks by asking you to transmit to Beijing and to the Ministry of National Defense the fullest appreciation of the government and people of Dominica for the consignment of this logistical equipment, a gift which serves to underscore, I think the important and lasting friendship existing between the Commonwealth of Dominica and the People's Republic of China. I think this will indeed serve the people of Dominica very well. And so I thank you very much, Ambassador, for your continued support and the support and solidarity shown to Dominica by the People's Republic of China. Thank you very much.